Do you know what I love most? Going through 10,000 settings just to select one single toggle. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech and a couple of days ago I got this which is DC26 and this is PCI Express 3.1 USB Type-C card mainly because my PC is very old and doesn't have a USB Type-C and recently I've been shooting more and more videos with uh, Pixel 3 Now if you shoot more videos with Pixel 3 and you offload them to a computer for any reason you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the selection screen where you have to go and select USB Type as file sharing and god this is annoying uh, if you use android 9.0 you know how much hassle it is previously there was been a couple of iterations of that and uh, for security reasons we ended up with this now because i'm gonna end up um, transferring files quite often from my phone to my computer for editing i figure out i'm a self-proclaimed tasker person and uh well why not to automate this, right? So this is how it works, basically I've got a laptop in here, I've got my uh, nice snappy cable with uh, uh, magnets, I reviewed actually this one, it's pretty cool, and what happens is when you plug that in, once the cable is going to be recognized, uh, you will see a small notification in the corner. I'm just going to display this in here so you can see what I'm talking about. And that USB icon, if you click on it, if you It'll open the settings, select what you need to select, and there you go, you can access the drive uh, straight away. Easy, simple, and I think the fastest solution to do it. Now, how is it, how is it done? Obviously, I'm using Tasker, so let's dive into it, and I'll show you exactly in detail how to set it up. When the device is connected, when the device is connected, you see a couple of options here. Well, I've got USB debugging, but there is also another information which is uh, charging this uh, device via USB, and that's what I'm going to use as a trigger. So, uh, what you have to do is just go to the task and select Profile Auto Notification Intercept. And as you can see, I'm using the Auto Notification Intercept. You can use Fill from Current Notification Tab. Type select Android uh, system charging this device via USB and select the title. And if you want, you can just select the also notification app as well. And that's done. Select and we are sorted. Now, once this is selected, we have to create two profiles one to enter, one to leave. One to enter is just to create this icon in the corner, which you can see with the USB. So uh, it's easy, just go and select the navigation bar. Now the first is default, the second is default, and the third one, in my case, has two users. Feel free to modify it. It's gonna run two different custom tasks. First task will, will create this icon. Uh, sorry, it will uh, um, look for the USB settings and uh, toggle them. And the second one just ends uh, the task altogether and removes the icon from the notification tray. Now to remove it, Basically, I've created another task, which is a, a USB uh, file system connected minus, and that just sets it to a default values. That's all it is. Now, when you go to tasks, we obviously have a task that sets that value to f uh, USB file sharing. Now, first of all, um, with, uh, with notification action, I'm just going to tap on this notification from Android system. So this one, this one here. So that notification is going to be tapped by this and to do it the easiest way is you just go to on notification actions, uh, edit and then you can set for example title filter and select the uh, type in the um, title of that um, notification. In this case it's charging this device via USB was the title. So once this is done, uh, that title tile or that notification is going to be clicked which means it will open correct um, settings. Now later, then I need to authorize auto input uh, for um, to enable the actual auto input because I don't run it constantly because it creates a bit of a lag and I don't like it. Now there is an option that you can actually run without auto input and you could use those for keyboard actions. So three times tab and one type enter. And this is a new action, action keyboard uh, in Tasker, however, it takes a moment and I don't really like it. I can show you basically how it, how it's done. Oh, just bear with me one second. Let me just enable this. Uh, 
can just run it. So this is the fastest speed actually can run. You cannot make it any faster. So if you do it with auto input, it's much quicker and I think it's much more beneficial. But if you don't want to use the uh, plugins, then obviously you can just refer to the keyboard actions instead. Now, once this is done, obviously I want to reset the navigation bar and then I want to use the auto tool secure settings to disable access to uh, accessibility service. So basically you go there, then you go to services, you need to check the sets accessibility services there and then disable uh, auto input here. That's it. Now, just a word on auto input because I've skipped it. So in auto input, basically what you have to do is just click on here, create, uh, I'll use the automated easy setup. So you click on that, then you scroll to the screen uh, that you want to action with. So let's, let's do this. Oh, I need to enable it, remember to enable it. Uh, once you do this, let me just quickly show you. Uh, easy setup. And now we have to navigate to that setting. So the easiest way is just to go through a uh, notification. Now we are on here, so we need to go to notification itself, which is not going to be showing because I hidden it. So we need to now tap on the stuff we want to tap, and this is file transfer. And uh, now we've done that, so we accept it. We have to navigate back to Tasker. And then I want to do element text file transfer. And that's done. And that's how you select it. And that's pretty much everything. So as long as you do all those steps, everything's going to be working. And if you want, you can just download that uh, and read the instructions in my tutorial a link to this video. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and uh, you won't be bothered by Android 9 settings and USB file transfer anymore. It's not a flashy tutorial, it's not a flashy profile either, however, it's going to be one of those small quality improvements to your life that make uh, use of Android slightly better. I really hope down the line um, Android guys will figure out a little bit better way of accessing this setting because this is just awful. Anyway guys, uh, thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to get mm, updates about the videos, you know how to YouTube or the notification system. If you want to get notified about my articles, just follow me on social media uh, um, of your choice and uh, you'll know what's what. Also, uh, I don't advertise this very often, but I do have an Instagram account. Uh, where I usually share smaller content and by smaller content I mean random pictures and videos up to like 30 seconds because 30 seconds uploads don't really make sense on YouTube today. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.